Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a fantastic St. Patrick's Day, getting all nice and drunk and joyous. Uh, I know I did. We ended up, my, my fiance and I ended up going to see Floggy Molly last night, so that was pretty badass. But today I wanted to discuss the Os the Oscars, the 2023 Oscars. I mean, it wasn't as eventful as last year's for sure with, you know, Will Smith slapping around Chris Rock. Uh, but I did see Chris Rock's new Netflix special, Selective Outrage. And fuck, man, it was so good. And I got to say his uh, where he brings up the slap. It was pretty wild, as Marlon Wayans said. It was very, you could tell he was passionate and that he was hurt and he just turned it into comedy. Like, it's all you can do when that's the, the life you live and the, you know, occupation that you hold as a comedian. But so considering it wasn't as eventful as last year's Oscars, I will say this year was amazing. I didn't watch it, but of the highlights, I mean, it had some of the most memorable and heartwarming speeches probably we've ever had. Uh, because, you know, Brendan Fraser, my man, the legend, the comeback king, won uh, Oscar for Best Actor for The Whale, playing Charlie and The Whale. And, you know, I did a review on that film and it was I loved it. It was great. Um, and A24 is really they're really growing. You know, they're really becoming something They're They're in the middle of, I guess you could say, the left and the right, which is pretty wild, given that they're doing so well. You know, they won. I mean, the film Everything Everywhere All at Once won Best Picture. Right. And that was also an A24 film. And and uh, Michelle, Yo, well, Michelle Yo, Haley Kwan and Ki Hei Kwan and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, all the actors of Everything uh, Everywhere All at Once, all won Oscars for Best uh, Actress and Best Supporting Actors. Uh, and it's just and the director Daniel Kwan also won an actor uh, Oscar for Best Director. Well, both of them, him and Daniel uh, Scheinert, the other uh, other writer of. Uh, everything everywhere so it's pretty cool that you know a24 is coming up like that and you know big congratulations to them uh to that company and you know to brendan fraser for just coming back and you know it's amazing i mean his speech and k uh, key's speech were just uh, fucking amazing you know gentlemen you laid your whale-sized hearts bare so that we could see into your souls like no one else could do, and it is my honor to be named alongside you in this category. I want to tell you that only whales can swim at the depth of the talent of Hong Chow. And I um, started in this business 30 years ago, and things, they didn't come easily to me, but there, there was a facility that I didn't, uh, I didn't appreciate at the time until it stopped. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you for this acknowledgement because it couldn't be done without my cast. It's, it's, been like, it's been like I've been on a diving expedition on the bottom of the ocean and the air on the line to the surface is on a launch being watched over by some people in my life, like my son's Holden and Leland and Griffin. I love you, Griffy. My manager, Joanne Colonna, Jennifer Plant, and my best first mate, Jeannie. Thank you again, each one and all. I'm so grateful to you. Good night. Thank you. Uh My mom is 84 years old, and she's at home watching. Mom, I just want an Oscar. They say stories like this only happen in the movies. 
I cannot believe it's happening to me. This, this is the American dream. <laughs> Dreams are something you have to believe in. I almost gave up on mine. To all of you out there, please keep your dreams alive. It hasn't been a gauntlet, like people have said. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Will you look at who wants to congratulate you? Oh, oh my God! We did it, we did it, we did it! Wow, this is unbelievable. 32, 32 years later. Honestly, like one of the most beautiful things this season is seeing this man again. Yeah. And seeing him holding back. That, oh my God. And it just breaks my heart that the very next fucking day or like that night, you know, Twitter's little cesspool of bullshit. People started, you know, calling out, well, uh, uh, calling out Brendan over his, you know, portrayal of Charlie and the Whale saying that, oh, you know, we got to stop giving awards for fat pe to, to people in fat suits because we should have actual fat people. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, you know, the reason I think he won Best Actor is because of his portrayal of such a, such a mass of human and how that can just be life-altering and life-changing. You know, it's, it's acting. You know what? You would never, excuse me, you would never want someone to be in that position, you know, for fuck's sake. I mean, it's just crazy. Now, uh, I've saved some of the tweets here because it's just so fucking funny. But you can see here that this person really gave no shit about, uh, you know, the fact that Brendan Fraser went through what he went through and that he did this movie with Darren, Ev Darren Evanoski. You know, it's uh, once again, just a reminder that The Whale was written by, directed by, and produced by four thin, white, rich, able-bodied, cisgender men. Like, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. Like, man, they she added everything she could add. Thin, white, rich, able-bodied, cisgender. You know, like, fuck, you don't know if any of them are, like, low-key wanting to be women. Who are you to judge? <laughs> like, the fuck out of here. And um, it's just crazy the amount of responses this person got that were, like, agreeing you know that yes this is fat shaming which is fucking ridiculous and on the other end of the spectrum of you're fucking a lunatic and then this is this is wrong you know like how, why why are you tweeting about something like this to, for someone that has done nothing wrong you know the movie was like i said if they saw the movie i mean maybe you would assume that they would think that they wouldn't want to be that fucking fat you know i mean everything everywhere all at once deals with like you know in a sense the multiverse and i mean in, in some multiverse if you want to be like a fat slob that literally can't do shit for yourself or leave his own home i mean i guess that's something you 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 might consider so this is what the multiverse looks like <laughs> oh my goodness because in this reality i'm obviously that person isn't that fat or else maybe they would have i don't know had the balls to post a picture of themselves and be like this is what freedom looks like or some shit i don't know but it's just disgusting you know and given the other films in uh the best picture i mean sure i would have gave it to my personal you know triangle of sadness which was great top gun maverick or all quiet on the western front but you know the banshees of inertia i mean all of them are great the whale isn't on there so it's not like the whale was that great of a movie you know to be oscar worthy but they obviously found it in their hearts and minds to bash this much on it and it's just disgusting but i would have to say the funniest part is one of the responses right and one of the responses was actually from dove soap which i thought was kind of cringe because it's like dude you're dove who gives a shit like you you sell soap and leave it alone. You know, they're like, stop giving fat suits awards. We want better representation in Hollywood. They got ratioed to fucking hell and back. Like, straight to the donut shop and back. Because, like, not only did people say, like, fuck out of here. Stop giving your intake on, nomin like, award like who wins awards and shit. Like, you're a soap selling company. Like, a lot of people were, like, joking. Like, fat people don't even use soap. It's like, damn, you know. Like, some of, them, some of the responses are pretty, pretty wild. Um... But it's just that I can't believe they actually came out and said something. It's like, who are you? You know, who the fuck are you to say something and, and decide to join the social justice brigade? You know, it's Dove Soap, for God's sakes. Imagine if it was like Axe or something or like, you know, I can't even, uh, Irish Spring, <laughs> some other random soap company. Like, you need to like not fat shame. It's like, get out of here. Like, it's a fucking movie. Brendan Fraser deserved this award. He's been through so much. And, you know, his speech was beautiful. I mean, God damn it. You, you're going to give shit to this man? I mean, come on. 
Like, come on. It's just, it was, like, not even cool, you know? Um, but, anyway, I, you know, I hope you guys had a good uh, week, uh, you know, for St. Patty's Day. I hope you have a, uh, excuse me, I hope you continue to have a good weekend. It's just, it's, it takes a lot out of you to just hear and read about shit like that. Because it's just like, man, people are just so awful nowadays. 2023 is just full of a lot, a lot of awful people. And hopefully next year, you know, a lot of those motherfuckers calm down or something. I don't know. You know, just all this woke garbage and films and everything. I mean, it's just, man, it's crazy. If all these people had their way to direct and make movies, I mean, they would be the worst movies ever. <laughs> that'd be so bad can you imagine like a 500 fat pound fat man like playing this role in a movie like it like a real 500 pound fat man like it wouldn't i don't think it could be done someone made a funny joke that you know you got to make sure he survives the filming process because <laughs> you know brendan fraser was eating throughout the film if you had the real fat man eating it wouldn't uh you know it wouldn't be as good but i don't know i just wanted to to break to discuss this because it was just it was so upsetting you know it's just Man, I mean, I, I, every time I watch that acceptance speech of Brendan Fraser for the whale when he got the six minute standing ovation, every time I see that, I just get choked up. Like it tears me up because, you know, he was gone for so long. We hadn't heard of him for so long. The phone never rang for the man. And now he's getting ovations, standing ovations, and he's winning Oscars. I mean, come on. You know, the American dream. Like, hi, hi, like, hi, Kay, Kay Lee Kwan said, I can never say his name right. It's, uh, Ki Hoi Kwan. Like he said, this is the American dream, and it can fucking happen to anybody. Oh, and I think it's amazing, absolutely amazing, that the best original song that won was Natu Natu from RRR. Fuck, I love that movie. I want to do a review on it, probably, but I, I just haven't. But I want to watch it again, because it's just such a fucking good movie. So if you haven't seen it, definitely watch RRR, because it is... Just have a beer, grab some drinks, whatever you got left from St. Patty's, and just watch it, because it is fucking worth watching. Um, but anyway, this has been Ghost from the Craig. Thank you so much. Uh, tune in. Have a great rest of your week, uh, weekend. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the flip side. Peace.